this should be interesting. If they do this, ooh. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm Warren Thompson, and today we have some really, really exciting news about Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, as if it wasn't already exciting enough with the true introduction of our new big bad, Kang the Conqueror. Yes, we've seen him before as He Who Remains, but He Who Remains warned us that his variants were a lot more evil than he was. If you think I'm evil, well, this way. Do you meet my variants? And that's the gambit! So Quantum Mania is going to be super exciting, but to add even more to it, the director of the movie, Peyton Reed, has confirmed that there are going to be some major and shocking cameos. And I think everybody's head automatically starts thinking, Fantastic Four. However, there are many other cameos that could be popping up in Quantum Mania, and I think we have a good idea of just exactly how and why they are going to be showing up in the movie. And cameos like Reed Richards and some people from the Fantastic Four might seem like kind of obvious ones due to their connection in the comics to the Microverse, which is in the MCU, the Quantum Realm, especially mm -hmm. since Ant-Man actually saves the Fantastic Four in the Microverse in the comics. But since uh, Peyton okay. Reed said that there were going to be some surprising faces, we can actually assume that we could be seeing some other Avengers. However, I think it might shock people to find out who these new Avenger characters really are. But first, let's go over the interview hmm. where the stars talk about how there will be cameos, and this is Paul Rudd talking and the director Peyton Reed. Paul Rudd has said that we are going to see some really good cameos. In his interview with Fandango, this is what he had to say. For people that are aware, I think we have some good ones in there. Some really good ones. I'm obviously not going to tell you what they are, but mm. I think that the ones that people find out about or learn about will, it will be a 10. Now, this was Paul Rudd's response to Fandango asking him about secrets that Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is going to have. So Paul Rudd himself says that there are going to be some really good ones, some really good secrets that we'll find out about in the film. And he says for those who notice these secrets, meaning those who can make the connections and know what they are, they're going to be a 10, a 10 out of 10. So these are going to be some insane secrets that we're going to see. But it gets even better. When Fandango asked director Peyton Reed about some cameos, he directly answered by saying, Oh yes, there's great fun in store for everyone and some surprising faces that may show up in the quantum realm. So yes, mm. we're very excited. Mm. This is a pretty big tease. He is straight up telling us that there now are more going to be cameos to of characters inside of the quantum realm. And he specifically says there are going to be some surprising faces. Now, I think that we're going to see a combination of two things here. One is familiar faces, and two is new characters being introduced into the MCU. And let's just go ahead and talk about the fantastic Four first. Now, the Fantastic Four have been rumored and theorized to be in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania for years now. What could be the really? story of the Fantastic Four I didn't know that. inside of the Quantum Realm just seems to make sense. Plus, you have to take into consideration the fact that Kevin Feige, the president of Marvel Studios, came out and he said that the Fantastic Four isn't really going to be an origin story about the Fantastic Four. And now, all of a sudden, some things are kind of connecting with each other. Rumor has it, and what I really believe could happen and theorize about, is that the Fantastic Four are already stuck inside of the Quantum Realm. And this could actually be how the Fantastic Four each get their powers. Instead of the classic origin story of them getting their powers in space, they could simply get their powers inside of the Quantum Realm. Because, as we learned in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania, thanks to Janet Van Dyne, we know that she has powers because the Quantum Realm changes you. Now, we originally thought that this could be the origin of the mutants and the X-Men in the MCU, the Quantum Realm. However, we have learned that that's not the case, but it is very clear that people can get powers from the Quantum Realm. So, if the Fantastic Four, due to some sort of experimental accident, get stuck inside of the Quantum Realm, they could emerge with powers, just like Janet Van Dyne did. Something like the quantum energy fusing with their body could give them powers. And I think we could see the Fantastic Four hmm. in a post-credit scene for Quantumania. We know that 
that the Fantastic Four are coming soon. We know that they're coming in 2025. Now, it was originally supposed to come in November of 2024, but according to some reports, it is now coming in February of 2025. So it's still not that far away. And if the Fantastic Four really are stuck inside of the Quantum Realm, and this is sort of an origin story for their powers, it makes sense that they would tease this in a post credit scene. And here's how I believe it would go down and has a good chance of happening. Kang the Conqueror is going to be the next big bad, so that means he's most likely going to win in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. From what we kind of know so far, thanks or to the one of him. <laughs> about the movie, Kang gets stuck inside of the Quantum Realm. He then needs Ant-Man's help to steal something, most likely a power source for his time chair, to get out. So I'm assuming that Kang indeed does get out. But since he gets out, and he probably has the only power source and time chair in there to actually get out, I'm assuming that Scott and Hope and the rest of the team actually get trapped inside of the Quantum Realm. I believe that this is how the movie is going to end, but a post credit scene could happen setting up the meeting of the Fantastic Four who could have been stuck inside of there as well. If Janet Van Dyne gets stuck in there with them, she could say that she might know of another person who could help them get out. She could be speaking about Reed Richards. Or if it's just simply Scott that gets trapped inside and maybe Cassie and maybe Hope, maybe Bill Murray's character Krylar could know of somebody else since he really is kind of in charge of a huge organization as well. Keep in mind that Peyton Reed said that this movie really is going to be a pivotal moment for the MCU as a whole, and it's going to be a huge movie on the scale of an Avengers film. So a post-credit where okay. Ant-Man meets Reed Richards would make a lot of sense and would be huge. Reed Richards would need the help of Ant-Man to get out much like Kang did. And of course, at this point, Ant-Man would need help getting out of the Quantum Realm as well. So you combine him technology with the smartest man alive, Reed Richards, and I bet you, you could figure out a way to get out of the Quantum Realm. Now, if this happens, that means that the start of the Fantastic Four movie would be the Fantastic Four stuck inside of the Quantum Realm with Ant-Man, which I think would actually be really, really cool. Plus, like I said, yeah. in the comics, Ant-Man does idea. help the Fantastic Four escape the microverse, which is the Quantum Realm, in the MCU. So there is a story for it. Plus, not to mention, Kang, whose real name is Nathaniel Richards, is a descendant from Reed Richards. They are actually oh, related. Yeah. So if we don't get the Fantastic Four post-credit scene, there is a chance that we could see Reed Richards, or maybe a variant of him in some other Fantastic Four movies during the movie of Quantumania. But that is just my theory. Let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. Now, as far as other cameos are concerned, we know that this is going to be a movie that is about the multiverse and variants. Kang will warn us that he has other variants and he is trying to save us all from his other variants. But we also know that Kang has an army. We know that he's going to have some leaders of that army. And like I said in some previous videos, I think some of the Avengers are actually going to be high ranking people in Kang's army. There was a rumor going around not too long ago that at some point in time in the multiversal saga, we could see some Avengers, their variants, actually be bad. And this makes sense. In the multiverse, in mm. an infinite amount of universes, there's going to be universes that exist where some of our good guys are actually bad guys. That's just how it goes. And perhaps some of them didn't want to fight Kang, but wanted to join him. This means that in Kang's massive army, we could see some of the Avengers, who are bad, leading that army, fighting alongside of Kang. Whoever the triumphant Kang is, whoever the Kang of Kangs is in this multiversal battle between all of the different Kang variants, it would make sense that he would have a better army than the other variants. And what better way to have a better army than to get some superheroes on board, except they're kind of super villains. I believe that this is the other way that we could see these cameos, because Peyton Reed said that we would see cameos inside of the Quantum Realm. Now, he already revealed Bill Murray, so we know that that's not who he's talking about. So I think our best bet for cameos, as in who's going to show up, is going to be the Fantastic Four and some evil variants of some heroes that are very well known. Now, I'm not saying that Robert Downey Jr. or Scarlett Johansson are going to pop up in this <laughs> film, although technically, yes, it is possible. But I'm expecting characters like maybe Thor, maybe an evil version of the Hulk, maybe War Machine. These type of characters could pop up and could be working mm. with Kang. Either I was way, I think it's going Downey to be Jr. really, really crazy. But let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comments down below and let me know who you would like to see show up as a cameo in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest news. Of course, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter to stay up to date. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.
Oh boy. See, um, because I'm glad I'm hearing this because um, I wasn't exactly super excited to see Ant-Man 3. Uh, I want to see it. Um, things look like they're ramping up and um, I think Kang is going to be, uh, seems like he's going to be pretty interesting. So, but now to know that we might see some cameo, though, that we are going to see some cameos and that we could see the Fantastic Four, now I'm way more on board. I don't know how more on board, but I'm more on board. Like, I definitely got to see it now because we're going to start talk about uh, superhero fatigue in my next video. <laughs> Kevin Feige talked about it, and uh, I guess he gave an answer as to whether people really do have it or not. Uh, get over to Cosmic Wonder and subscribe. And if you enjoyed my reaction and thoughts on this, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Woo!